Welcome to our 26th video with data structures and algorithms. Let's do an example of breadth first search. So we have our graph here. Um, it's a little longer than this, okay? So same, same graph as we used for um, depth first search. Uh, we're gonna need a queue uh, to, to do this. And so we are going to uh, denote uh, that we're gonna dequeue from this left side and we'll end queue uh, from the right side or into the, the right side. Uh, you'll see what I mean uh, as we go along. So we're just gonna start from one, okay? And we'll do things um, numerically, okay, in order. So we're gonna start here. And the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to mark this as zero. The distance from our starting point is zero so far, right? So one is uh, zero distance away from itself, if, uh, if that helps. So let's draw our queue at first, okay? It's empty at first and we're going to NQ uh, one, right? So let's put one in the queue. Okay, and there we go. Now what we do is we pop, or not pop, that's the stack. We DQ one, and we will NQ its adjacency list. So two and six. And like I said, we're gonna do it in that order, numeric order. So uh, the next thing that we have on here is two and six. Okay, now, we have two, right? Let's look at two. So uh, the distance as well uh, will increase, right? So this is one and this is one, right? They're one uh, node away from the starting point. So two is up next in the queue. So we're going to DQ two and we will NQ its adjacency list, which uh, consists of 10. So now we have uh, six and 10 you can kind of see how it's how the queue is moving along. And this is a distance of two, right, away from that uh, starting point. So keep going here. Uh, actually, I need to be drawing these as well. So we're going to draw uh, that we took this path right here, right? And we also have searched this path so far, just this one uh, edge. Also this edge, right? We've searched. Okay, so now six is up next in the queue. So let's take six, uh, let's DQ six, and we will NQ its adjacency list, right, which is nine and 11. So um, here, right, we have a distance of two and a distance of two. So now we have 10 at the front of the queue. We have nine and we have 11. Okay, so let's do that. Okay, and we're good so far. Uh, next up is 10. Let's DQ 10 and push on its ad adjacency list. So we've got 9, 11, and 13 has now been enqueued. Okay, and that is a distance of 3 away. Next up is 9. Let's DQ 9 and NQ 12, this is a distance of three. So now our Q looks like this, 12. All right, next one is 11, so let's uh, DQ 11, and we will NQ 14, this is a distance of three away. So we have 13, 12, and 14. Okay, now 13 is up next. So let's DQ 13 and NQ 15, which is now a distance of 4, 12, 14, and 15. All right, next is 12. And when we DQ 12, 10 has already been discovered, so we are not going to NQ anything. We're just going to uh, take this off the queue. So now our queue looks like this, 14 and 15. Okay, next up is 14, right? So we DQ 14, and 15 is already on the queue, right? It's already been discovered. So we just DQ it, and that's it. So 15 is now in the queue. 
And so we DQ 15 and we NQ 18, right, which is a distance of five. So now 18 is in the queue. And we DQ 18 and 17 is here. That's a distance of six. So 17 is now in the queue. So when we DQ 17, right, there's nothing that's going to be uh, in queued. So our, our uh, queue is empty now. So we are done with um, our search from the first node. Okay, we still have other things going on that have not been discovered yet. So we need to go to the next node. It's two. Now two has already been discovered, so we're not going to start there anymore. Right? We're done with that one. So let's try the next one. Three has not been discovered yet. You'd see that it's uh, if we're using colors, the color would be white. Right? It has not been discovered yet. So we're going to have a new starting point here uh, with a distance of zero. And we are going to put that into our queue, right? So now three is in the queue. Let's dequeue that, and we will push or we will enqueue its adjacency list. This is both a distance of one, right? So we have five and eight that get put into the queue. When we pop, when we in, when we dequeue five, it has no adjacency list, right? It's empty, so. We just dequeue it and that's it. We have eight here, right? Same thing here. Um, its adjacency list has 10, but 10 has already been discovered. So now we dequeue eight and uh, there's uh, nothing in the queue. So we finished up with our search from uh, node three. Now let's search from the next node, which is node four. So Four has not yet been discovered, so let's give it a distance of zero. Um, we've got four in the queue. Now when we dequeue this, right, we have six and seven. Six has already been uh, discovered, so we're just going to enqueue seven. So seven will be in the queue. And when we dequeue seven, uh, we check its adjacency list. It's there's a nine there. It's already been discovered, right? It would have a color of black, or yeah, it would have a color of black in this case. So uh, we DQ seven, and our queue is empty. Now we start from eight. Eight has already been discovered, so we're good. Nine discovered. Ten discovered. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. So sixteen is our next one, right? So we NQ 16, okay? And when we DQ 16, uh, 14 has already been discovered, right? It's adjacency list, so uh, we do nothing. So that's there. And we have finished our uh, breadth first search.